from Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hi, welcome to The Power Show. You are part of The Power Nation, and I'm delighted that you're here, because here we help to take your life to the next level, help you improve your relationships, your attitude, your finances, and your career. This is episode number 63, Boaz Power TV, and I call this one Hail Columbia. Hail Columbia. You may recall in 2003 the tragic event where the space shuttle Columbia disintegrated as it came back to Earth and such a sad moment. There have been various people in history who have done such amazing things as those astronauts did to have courage to do something special, to show us how we can explore something new, to have the courage to develop something different. And so someone gave me a book not long ago, which goes along this line. I like to read stories of people who encourage me, who inspire me. And this was about an adventurer back in, two, in uh, many, many years ago in the uh, early 1900s, in fact, 1914, named Ernest Shackleton. And the book is entitled Shackleton's Way, Leadership Lessons from the Great Antarctic Explorer. An amazing book, simply an amazing book. And what he did is he decided to um, put together a, an incredible expedition. Back in 1914, Antarctica had not been explored very much at all. And so in August of that year, he uh, set out on an expedition for an 1,800-mile Antarctic trip on foot. That was going to be his, his journey across Antarctica, 1,800 miles. So he put together an expedition and they sailed for thousands of miles from England to Buenos Aires and then toward the South Pole. And just as they were about a day away from their destination to begin this walking trip across Antarctica, the ship gets stuck in the ice. It gets stuck in the ice. And not only was the ship stuck in ice, but it was lodged in ice. And he and his 40 crew members for the next two years were stuck in Antarctica and nobody knew how to find them. They had three little lifeboats. Eventually the ship is broken apart by the ice and it sinks and they have to survive on, on uh, all kinds of seal and whatever other meat they can find. And uh, they have incredible storms and they sail for weeks sometimes trying to find other places where they can find civilization. And this incredible journey is illustrated in this book. But the main point of the whole book was the fact that Ernest Shackleton had hope. Throughout the two years as the captain of this journey, he kept hope alive for his men. And I will quote to you from the book, as it's really profound. He said, in the end, Shackleton took five men and sailed 800 miles in a lifeboat over tumultuous seas to reach the inhabited islands of South Georgia in the remote South Atlantic. And when by some miracle they made their destination, they found they had to cross a nearly impassable frozen mountain range to reach civilization, which was a whaling station. If you ever get a chance to read this book, I think you'll find it as fascinating as I did. Because here is somebody who, against all odds, continued to look for the best, continued to show hope over two years for his men. So sometimes shouldn't we show hope for the people around us when things don't look good so, it's so good for us, whether it's financially or emotionally or whatever, to just show some hope that, yes, there's got to be a way and we're going to find it. It's that sheer determination. There's got to be a way and I will find it. And so maybe that is the affirmation then for this episode of Boaz Power TV. I will find the way. I will find the way. Your subconscious mind knows exactly what that means that when we have difficulties, I will find the way. Even if everybody else says there's no way, I will find the way. What a great powerful affirmation. Won't that help all of us? Absolutely. If you like these messages and many people around the world find them to be of great value, please 
pass this along to five of your friends and ask them to go to my website, boazpower.com. Get them to subscribe to this free weekly television broadcast, and maybe we can help them find their way too. Thank you for joining me. You are special. You are unique. You are destined for greatness. I believe in you. You are a champion. Have a powerful day. This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.